fine. I'm finding every way to trash the new Zelda game. The you know as this has been going on for like you know the past month, but now what they're doing now is saying the game is garbage because Elden Ring has uh, one point higher score than Tears of the Kingdom. Yes, I cannot make this stuff up. Elden Ring has a one point higher score, so they pulled up this image. Because they wanted to have proof that Tears of the Kingdom is garbage. And that El- and that, Zel- that Nintendo should be scared of Elden Ring. And that's why Zelda was derailed. Okay. This is all a bunch of made up bullshit. The critics basically view both of the games equally. Both games score a high 90. Okay. Okay. Elden- Zelda is mid 90. But... Both scores pulled, you know, these are very high scores. No games ever get mid to high 90s, okay? You know, this is a very rare score, okay? We got their favorite game, Bloodborne, okay? We know they love Bloodborne so much. Which, actually, Bloodborne's actually critically acclaimed. That's surprising, you know? But Bloodborne has a 92. Even the great Bloodborne, was they view it as one of the greatest things since sliced bread. Only has a 92 on Metacritic. Okay. The current highest score for PS4. Oh, that's PS4. God of War. Ragnarok. Doesn't even have a 95. Okay. Which Elden Ring has a higher score than God of War Ragnarok. Okay. So we compare. So the God of War developers be scared of Elden Ring because the score is two point difference. Before Zelda Tears of the Kingdom came out, Hogwarts Legacy was the game that everybody was talking about. And that game, mostly due to critics, you know, giving into the cancel culture, gave it an 87% on Metacritic as well. Okay. Well, even like the Resident Evil 4 remake only had a 91. Okay. As well. And games that have over 90 score are very well nowadays. Okay. Elden Ring has a 96%. A 96 out of 100. Which is a very impressive score. But both Tears of the Kingdom and Elden Ring have very good scores. Both games are universally and well. They're universally acclaimed by critics and fans alike. Elden Ring, I don't write a score of 7.6, but both of the games are universally and critically acclaimed and are going to sell millions of copies. Elden Ring sold 30 million copies, I believe around 30 million, and Tears of the Kingdom will likely sell 20 to 30 million copies because people, because good games now are scouts. You have to, you have to, you know, worry about buggy and gritty releases. Says, says like Sour Giant Survivor. Especially if you're a PC fan, but... And the people who want a Bloodborne PC port... I don't know why people keep asking... Like, people keep asking for Bloodborne for a PC... When PC is, like, one of the worst platforms to port to... Because you have to worry about all the optimizations of PC... Of the PC, okay? You know, you have to worry for lower optimizations... Which, again, I'm not talking about, like, you know... Like, very, like, 10-year-old PCs... You know, think about, like, 5-year-old PCs... And they haven't caught up... Okay, PC games have notoriously been bad for optimization. Okay, but yeah, this whole dumb rivalry between Elden Ring and Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is stupid. I would say it needs to stop, but these people are going to perpetuate it until the end of time. Until the next big game comes out, and then they start complaining about that game compared to Elden Ring and Bloodborne. Okay, but all the games that you know, are, are considered good games by a majority of people. A unanimous majority of people. Goodbye.